In today's really cool color grading tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with the skin tones and we're going to be creating on top of that very interesting teal and orange look. It's going to look like a blockbuster, I promise, and I'm going to show you some sneaky techniques I bet you guys didn't know about. So here we have clip from raw film. And by the way, if you want to get stock footage, I have 25% uh, discount link. It's all in the description below. Make sure to check it out. So here we have a store manager clip. The guy's kind of smirking a little bit. Really cool shot. Uh, camera goes around him. It's been shot on red. And by the way, I've been getting asked a lot about S-Log2 and other different log formats. And I have to tell you that it doesn't matter. It, it's either S-Log2 or S-Log3 or anything, the V-Log, whatever it is. The concept remains the same. So wherever you guys read that it's all different, it's complete nonsense. The techniques and everything is absolutely the same, okay? So it doesn't matter if it's RED or RE or even DSLR for that matter. As long as it's shot correctly flat, you can do what I'm doing right now, okay? So you don't need to have $100,000 set up. All right, enough chit chat, let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is balance, okay? I'm gonna label this node, balance, okay? And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop a little bit of uh, highlights and I'm gonna bring down a little bit of shadows. Now, big mistake a lot of people do is they're trying to bring shadow all the way down. Well, that's not correct. Because if you look at the shot, we don't really have anything pure black, you know, completely in the shadow somewhere, pitch black, that we would bring our lift all the way down. So always keep an eye on that. Make sure you don't do that silly mistake because in that case, your shot gonna look a little bit silly. So I'm gonna increase um, a little bit of um, highlights of gain. That way we get nice overall exposure. Okay, so that looks pretty good. In the very same note, I'm gonna add saturation. Generally, I don't recommend um, adding things in the same note. So for the sake of tutorial, I'm gonna do it, but you should be doing separate notes. That way you have the maximum control. Okay, I'm gonna do a new note and I'm gonna call it WB for white balance. Now I'm gonna white balance this by vector scope over here we can see that it's a little bit on a warmer slash greener side. So simply what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab offset and I'm just going to move this thing more to a neutral territory. Okay, somewhere over here. And if I'm going to toggle before and after, we can see how big of a difference that makes. So I think right now the skin and everything is more neutral than before because before it was very green a little bit. So that's really good. So now we have balance and now we have uh, the white adjustment. Now I want to start a little bit with the Luma. And a little secret about Luma, whenever you bring down just the brightness, okay, without affecting saturation, you get, in most cases, very nice, rich skin tone. Okay, so I'm going to start bringing it down. Okay, if you guys not sure where exactly the skin is. There's a couple ways you can do. You can use false color. Let me demonstrate. Okay. You can use the false color monitor or you can use the false color LUT. Okay. Just like this. And generally speaking, whatever false color you're using, if they're calibrated correct, you should see a little bit uh, specular highlight with a different color on the subject face. Okay. So not gonna do that let's go back and in our luma the secret is when you have a droplet let me right click over here and put everything to uh, neutral when you have a droplet if you click on the skin tone it will automatically pinpoint where the skin tone is okay on your curve so that's a really cool perk so now that I know the skin is here, I'm going to start dragging just this part, okay? And we can see right away, let me toggle before and after. We can see right away how much richer image looks immediately. So let's see, I'm going to bring 
this one up i also gonna bring maybe just a tiny bit well no that's okay we're gonna leave it like that maybe just in general okay so like that looks perfect i'm gonna label this as luma and i'm gonna zoom into his face let me demonstrate so that's before that's with the luma and this one's before we can see how much more character this process added all right so that looks good now let's start actually getting to business alt s new note and i'm gonna call this one skin so what we're gonna do now we're gonna qualify the skin and uh, a little bit complain here i wish davinci resolve would make their qualification a little bit better i still think it's not there yet because it's very hard to qualify things hopefully somebody from resolve team listening this and you guys can fix it up because it's really falling behind its competitors anyways okay so skin i don't need his beard okay we'll we'll play around with that and the main important goal here that we don't have any kind of dancing noise and as of right now we can see that the background is dancing this is something that we don't want so play around it's no big deal if you take your time selecting it because it's really important um, don't feel like you're not doing a good job if you take a little bit longer than it should um, selecting the skin properly is very important process and if you do it correctly you will benefit down the line okay so let's have a little soft selection here let's get out of the purple territory let's see here as it looks all right kind of does let's see clean white okay highlight we'll grab lights when you grab the background it's okay because it's the same color as the skin and this is why it's very important to know that when you shoot something to make sure that you're not going to be having background or clothing same as the skin tones because you're going to run into this kind of problem okay so let me blur it out a little bit let's see can i make it cleaner a bit no what about with the low okay all right i guess we're gonna have to cope with this okay noise reduction all right it, it looks okay for now all right so we have his skin qualified so now i'm gonna do alt s new note and this one we're gonna call look so this is where everything gonna happen in this node right over here you can use primary wheels you can use log you can use bars in my case i'm gonna use curves to dial the look okay so i'm gonna start with the red channel now to me it's very important to make sure that i'm gonna mess at least with his face so i'm gonna do the same technique again i'm just gonna click away and it's gonna put a point right over here so this is gonna be our background and i'm gonna start bringing it a little bit down creating that um, teal ish look okay now with the blue Okay, so that, like that looks pretty good and then with the green let's give that typical green highlight okay we can zoom in by the way for a tutorial i exaggerate a little bit considering the compression and other variables that will come into play so let's say that we have the look dialed let's see before and after so that's very radical change what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna convert it into layer note alt l okay and nothing happened so with that skin node before grab that little square and it's gonna pass on the mask to our look okay so now we have his face being fed from the previous node so we have that nice clean selection but it looks really weird as of right now and to counter that there's a couple things number one you can in your um, 
over here in the note key, you can dial down the grain a little bit to make sure that the look is not that drastic, which I highly recommend doing, by the way. Number two, we can do the same thing with his skin to make sure that his skin tone is not being overly crazy. So let's bring it down a little bit and basically play between them to see whatever works the best. Okay, so now we kind of have this look going on. Let me show you what we've done. So we can see we converted this into that teal and orange look. Now there's one little problem we can either fix it in our look node or we can create a new node. So I'm going to go back in the look and we can see based on RGB balance that we don't have clean black. And this is a very important rule when you're doing this kind of look. Black must be black and white must remain white in most cases. But it's important that black stays black. So let's select blue right over here at the dot and I'm just going to start bringing it down. Okay. So something like that. We can see right away a big difference. So before, over here in his jacket, we can see sort of little blue haze. And once we start bringing it down, we can see more neutral uh, color. So this is the goal. So like that, everything looks more or less fine. So this is our look. Now I'm going to grab this and I'm going to create a compound. The way it's not on our way. And I'm going to do a new node. And here's a sneaky little way. So before, let me hide all this. So before, we pretty much had everything on the neutral. And we could really do much with the background and generally in terms of color. But now, since we introducing the blue, we're going to trick computer thinking that the wall is actually blue now. And what it gives us now we can go, for example, in hue versus luminance. And again, this is not the perfect technique. You're supposed to do this in camera. Okay. But you can now select this kind of uh, blue in the back and you can make it either darker or brighter. And when you color grade, that gives you a little cheat that you can create a split between the contrast ratio when you do a certain look. For example, I can also do hue versus hue, select this and start playing around with the different hues because before the color was neutral and I wasn't able to grab onto that. Also, you can correct now a little uh, tint sort of of your blue. If you want to call it like that, for example, we can see that the neutral shirt in the back is white. And once we move it, we're introducing different tonality to that. So that's another little cheat for you guys. If you want to affect how environment looks, this is the way of doing it. So again, before and after you see how by doing the slight little thing, we're not really affecting the image, but we're making automatically more for more focus on our character without really introducing any kind of artifacts. So if I'm going to toggle the whole grade before and after, we can see a huge difference that we made basically by doing so. All right. So that's pretty cool. So this one I'm going to call wall. Of course, you can do more uh, dramatic difference if you want. And now we can color grade on top of that if we want. So for example, what I mean by that, now we, let's say, want to give a slightly warmer slash greener variation of that. All we have to do simply go to the temperature and just crank it up a little bit. And we can see it becomes a little bit on the warmer side. If we want our image to be more drastic blue, we can crank it up in the other way. And as you can see, it's becoming a little bit more blue from our neutral. So this is another really cool perk that you can manipulate. Also, you can manipulate with a little tint to see exactly where you want to be. So if I toggle before and after, we can see the whole shenanigan that we're doing here. So that's really cool. Now I'm going to turn it on. And again, with the note key, let's say I think it's too much. Just want to give it a little bit. And this is how it's done. Now, again, 
let's do a new node and I, I can also play again with the luminosity so now with luminosity I can give a little pop or I can bring it a little bit more down again to give it more dramatic sort of blockbuster looking image because normally this kind of grading usually being done to uh, re relatively darker movies because technically it's really impossible to do it on a bright movies so when you have something dark like that this is where this look in particular shines so let's do before and after and with that again we can create contrast if we want look at his forehead or we can do opposite decrease contrast so you have ultimately all the power in the world that you can do to create a certain look that you want so for example like that we have nice contrasting image okay and to put cherry on top of all this let me organize this a little bit okay new node i'm gonna call this one grain okay and i'm gonna add a little bit of film grain let's see where it's at and because this look is so stylized i don't have to be shy adding film grain i actually wanted to people to see that there is a film grain and the way i like doing that is i like to have the strength that i can see it on the subject face and on the background equally so in this case i can probably do a little bit more okay just like that again I'm doing a little bit extra because of YouTube compression. So I hope you guys can see that there is a grain in there. Okay, so we'll play it back. That looks cool. Now we're going to do fake 240 screen ratio. So let's say my project is just to be a quick with the math. So let's say my project is uh, 2K 1920 by 1080. I'm going to go to image scaling match time like setting. Let's uncheck that. Okay, and over here, uh, scale full frame with crop, and I'm going to change resolution to 800, and we're going to have nice white screen. Now, that looks really good right there. So what we can do now, if we want, let's go to input sizing, and with a tilt, we can adjust our picture how we want to be sure the framing is correct, and you turn from this you go all the way here and we have fantastic blockbuster image so let's verify that with a false color to make sure that everything looks cool we have a slight specular on his um, above his eye and to me that's a good indicator that exposure is still really good if we would have gone too dark we would have a little bit blue around but when it's a little bit, I know the exposure is perfect. So this is our look and we're all done. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe just specifically for this video. I'm going to make this full false color guys. If you're interested for one buck, just for 24 hours, if you guys want to grab it just to support my creation. So I'll see you in the next video. Take care.